Thinking about copying the Yeezy 350 V2 Ash Pearl? Then stay tuned for my honest review. What is crackalacking people? It is your boy, it is your dog, it is your brother from another mother, aka Dr. Vassell, aka Wayne. And welcome to another Crep Check. And in today's Crep Check, well you guys know, cause you already checked out the title, we are looking at the Yeezy 350 V2 Ash Pearl. So this is a third in the Ash series. We had Ash Blue, Ash Stone, and now we have Ash Pearl. Taking a quick look at the box, because you know I like to do that before we get in. And Yeezy keeps it simple but iconic. You've got the big 350 on this otherwise quite mellow box. And you have the Yeezy 350. Not much different from his usual boxes, as you can see. I don't know if you can appreciate it on my camera. And then we have the Size tag reads Yeezy Boost 350, Ash P, Ash P, Ash P, as he likes to repeat it, don't know why. And that's what the tag looks like if my camera is getting that in focus. So let's get this box open. So, usual typical sliding box. Ooh, bit noisy. Okay, so. So look at the trainer itself, it's not too dissimilar to the Ash series, which all of them tend to have this Ash Grey running through it. The only addition here, obviously, because it's the Ash Pearl, is this pearl color. Looking at the Prime Knit Upper, you notice immediately the differences between the medial and lateral aspect of the trainer. The medial side of the Prime Knit Upper has this blue and grey tone, whereas the lateral side has this, I guess, the Ash Pearl tone. The center of the shoe has this light cream stitching detail. I'm gonna call it the stitching bulk. I don't know if that's what they call it, but that's what I'm calling it. And this is something I notice Yeezys tends to vary. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. And what I must say I do like about this trainer is the laces. What I like about the laces is the fact that it has this kind of maroon color and it's kind of like a rope. And in addition, it goes into the prime knit upper without any actual opening. And in my opinion, it gives the trainer a clean, simplistic look and feel. The laces themselves are a maroon color, kind of an offish, worn, used feel to it. And I think that helps give the trainer also some more character. The ankle opening has this light cream piping. I don't know if you can notice. In addition to the three stripes, which are luminous, and also you notice on the inside, you can see the detailing of the ash the ash on this side with the pearl. And on the lateral portion of the trainer, we notice this ash makes a guest appearance, separating the upper part of the prime knit upper from the iconic translucent midsole that we've come to recognize of Yeezys. And the top part of the lateral side features this kind of tan color, which I guess is what they're calling the ash pearl. Going to the posterior aspect of the trainer, we notice again this stitch bulk detail, which is exactly the same from the anterior aspect of the trainer. And we notice the fusion of the medial side and the lateral side with this ash described. Prime knit upper merging with the stitching bulking. Also from the lateral side, we notice the ash that I said made a guest appearance with the pearl or the tan, light tan colored upper portion of the prime knit upper, which fuses into the back. And then for some reason we have this proportion of the semi-translucent midsole that is kind of a, a tan color, just a section. But if you notice that tan color then goes round into the outsole, which is a tan color. The medial side, as you can appreciate, the medial side has the ash, which is kind of like a, a mixture of blue and gray. It doesn't look too dissimilar to the ash pattern that's on the lateral aspect of the trainer. Also at the back of this trainer, there is no hook. I don't know, Yeezy tends to vary. Sometimes they have that, that hook piece. Hang on one second, I'll show you. Air of Yeezys. So sometimes they like to have them, sometimes they don't. I don't know why. I quite like it actually. It's, I don't know, it just adds another bit of detail and a little bit more character to the trainer. 
peered into the background, you notice that for some reason I have another pair of these trainers. I am not too sure why I have two pairs of the same trainer, but I do. And that's a problem that I need to rectify. My wallet cannot accept <laughs> that outcome. Going back to the outsole, as I was describing, it has a different color to the midsole. It's a bit more tanned. It does show quite nicely the Boost technology. I find personally Yeezys 350s are a true to size fit. So I recommend getting your size. Now Yeezys are quite common trainers now. So I'm pretty sure you must have a mate that has a pair. Hopefully, if you're not 100% sure, you can go and try on your mate's pair and decide whether you wanna go a half a size up at most. So what's my verdict? Well, I don't think these are particularly revolutionary. I think that the Ash Pearl has a good balance of colors that will complement a wardrobe for spring and summer. So these are probably a good cop if you're thinking about what you're gonna wear on your feet for summer. But I don't think they're bringing anything new to the Yeezy game. Will I keep both pairs? <laughs> In all honesty, the answer is probably no. But what I will say is if any of you guys are after a Yeezy Ash Pearl 350 V2s, look down in the link below. You can go to my site and you can buy them. They are unworn, brand new and ready to go. That is a riggedy riggedy wrap from me guys. What you will see now is a video of what these look like on feet. If you have enjoyed this video, please give your brother a like, click subscribe so you don't miss future crep check videos. I've got to work on my robot a little bit, I know. Lockdown has not had us out raving, so don't judge me. If you do have any further questions, drop them in the comment section and also let me know what you think. Do you think these are summer winner? Your opinion may differ. Let me know. Otherwise, we out. Peace.